Dear friends and ministry colleagues, I wanted to post a short summary of where my cancer diagnosis has brought me. The short version is that I am at the end of the road in the late stage 4 of a very aggressive pancreatic cancer. Nothing to date has reversed the tumor status. It has now invaded the upper GI and stomach areas causing slow, uncontrollable bleeding. No one on my medical team has a solution or knows of one. During the latest endoscopy, an effort was made to cauterize as many of the bleeding points as possible to at least slow the bleeding. In essence, I am bleeding out at a slow rate with no solution. I am presently not in pain, but I am very weak, a condition that will worsen until I am gone. Since there are no further treatment options available to us, we have chosen to spend my remaining time at home. We are guessing, we have not been given a number, that this means I'll live anywhere from a week to several weeks. I know this news is depressing, but you should all know that I will die happy to have served the Lord you all in the ways that I have. God has been very good to us, gifting me in discernible ways, and, I think just as importantly, giving me a heart for the lay community, all of you. I desire nothing more than to empower all of you to study scripture more deeply, to unlock the Bible for you in ways inaccessible to all of its scholars. This brought me a special joy. Let's turn to the future. As you know, when I pass, I will join the family of God and His counsel, to which all of us as believers presently belong, but not yet in its fullness. This is what awaits me, and I am glad. We will see each other in the future in unimaginably glorious ways. Until then, I have great hope and earnest expectation that all of you will contribute or continue to contribute to my ministry. Thousands of you have expressed how my work and content has changed your lives. I believe you. As my own experience, described briefly in the Unseen Realm, was equally life-altering in my own case. My view of scripture and purpose in ministry life was never the same after encountering and processing the Divine Council worldview and Deuteronomy 32 worldviews. Thousands of you have also expressed a desire to help further this content in ministry or movement as some have referred to it. Now is the time. It is time for you all to think not about content you will receive from me, but what you can do to make sure other people discover the content that changed your life and outlook on scripture. If you contribute to McLaught, please continue to do so. The same goes for the Naked Bible and the RMSH community. Great amounts of content now depend directly on your continued support so please, take the long look of ministry to others. All of these I have begun in some way are crucial to keep my content live and free online for others to discover and pass on. I can no longer do that. I am spent in service to you. So now it is time for you to do, replicate the blessing you have experienced in the lives of others. I die with the belief that you will like I did, take a long look of being a blessing to others, to help them rediscover the Bible for the first time, and to embrace the gospel as believing loyalty. Please be a part of what is now taking shape for the glory of the kingdom. I'll be greatly blessed by you all.